So it was November 4th, 1979, when the Islamic Republic of Iran stripped 52 Americans their freedom, their dignity, and their pride. 52 hostages were held for 444 days in Iran from the end of 1979 until January 1981. My father was William Kyo, and he was a hostage in Tehran. He was only supposed to be there for the weekend, and all hell broke loose. They brought Iranian women to the front door, then used them as shields as they broke through the American embassy. So I will never forget the human rights of what they did to the Iranian women then and, you know, obviously what still goes on to this day. Through the broken windows, I can remember hearing the traffic start in the morning, peak, and then die. And there would be day one, day five, and you're sitting there thinking that you're forgotten. From God, my family, and my country. And it was in that order that kept me alive and surviving through that. We were released January 20th, 20 minutes after President Carter left office. There's a difference between relations between the Iranian people and the Iranian government. They are two totally different things. The people of Iran look more towards Western culture as something that they are interested in and enjoy. The regime obviously is opposed to the influence of Western culture in Iran. The younger generations are coming up and they're not in the same mindset. They want more freedom, they want to be out in the world, and they're being taken backwards now instead of being able to move forward. I truly believe that there's many Iranians that would love better than what they have. So, as they would say in Iran, inshallah, with God's will, uh, that might happen. <laughs>